Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, which actually in footies has meant Icon Player SBC Day, and we have one big Icon Moments SBC that has been leaked to be dropping soon, and it might be as early as today, and that is Ronaldinho Moments. I wanna take a look at that SBC, what it's already doing to the market. Prices are already going down on his card and other left wings, specifically Brazil left wings. And I wanna take a look at what else could happen today on this game with the 85 times 10 is actually scheduled to expire today, but we're expecting it just like it did last Monday to be re-released, hopefully with a quicker refresh timer Although I still think it might be too early for a fully repeatable, unlimited repeatable 85 times 10. I've kind of changed my thinking a little bit on that just because I know it's August now. It's officially August, right? We can throw those jokes out there. We are getting closer to the end day by day of FIFA 22, but I still think it might be a smidge too early for a fully repeatable 85 times 10, but we're going to have to that SBC most likely again today. The 90 times seven is going to re up 86 plus player pick is going to re up. It's going to be a busy Monday. We've got upgrade packs now to craft everything that everything that is out. It's going to be a great week of content and hopefully the hype is going to start to build later on this week with shapeshifters coming back into packs we'll maybe speak about that a little bit today and summer swaps too on the screen here it's a monday right and what have we had during summer swaps one we had all those objective based tokens like a huge set of eight tokens released I think there's possibility for that today as well. So a lot to cover today. So strap in and we're going to get going with it. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Hey, you. Yes, you. Is it getting a little too uncomfortable down below the belt? Yes. I just asked you that question. Well, if so, Manscaped is here to help you out with the brand new Boxers 2.0 from Manscaped. They've spent two years designing the most comfortable pair of boxer briefs out there. And let me tell you, TFA approved. These things are the bomb. But of course, the best part about this is you can get a pair of Manscaped boxers when you buy the Manscaped Performance Package, which of course includes the 4.0 Manscaped trimmer with the advanced skin safe technology, the most incredible, in my opinion, trimmer out there on the market, especially considering it's got the LED light on the end. It can reach anywhere you need to go. We also have the ear and nose hair trimmer for those hard to reach places. We have the crop preserver and the crop reviver. All of this inside of a very nice leather tote bag is available on manscaped.com code TFA for 20% off plus free shipping. All of these products together individually or all together in the Manscaped Performance Package. You can get them there. Manscaped.com code TFA for 20% off. Back to the video. Let's start from the top with probably what's going to be the biggest piece of content today related to a player SBC, and that would be a brand new icon moment. This is the leak that we were referring to just a bit ago with moments Ronaldinho being leaked being leaked as an SBC, and this is all that Foot Sheriff, he said, Foot Sheriff said, he said, R10 is added to come via Moments SBC in the following days. Now, what we know is the last couple of weeks, Mondays have been the days where they actually dropped the Icon Moments players. Think about like last week, we had Rude Hullet. A couple of weeks ago, we had Pushkas. A couple of weeks before that, we had Eusebio all on Mondays, I believe is when, that, when those SBCs were dropped. So I think the trend is going to continue today with Ronaldinho. Now, Taking a look at Ronaldinho's card, what is this going to be priced at, right? Last week before Rude Hullet was leaked, Rude Hullet was a 3 million coin card and his SBC was actually priced by EA at such a good price. It's actually under 2 million coins to do right now. I think that's a really good price for a card, even though it may be too expensive at this point in the game. Ronaldinho is 2.5 million coins. He's down about 500k from where he was. I think he was even like 2.3 mil. He was 3 mil yesterday, a couple days before, 2.9 to 3 mil. So he's down a decent amount. But I think what we have to look forward to today is... Hopefully EA making this cheaper than Hullet SBC because Dino was a cheaper card than Hullet when he was first released. Hullet was, I believe, is it is it like 19 squads or something like that? 15 squads, sorry. 15 squads for Hullet, but it, I think it does require two 90 rated sections, right? Hopefully today, the Ronaldinho SBC is like 13 or 14 sections, and if it comes in anywhere near, uh, you know, 1.7, 1.8 million coins, I think that would be a, a pretty solid undercut and a pretty solid 
um, you know, deal to craft this SBC rather than go and buy the tradable version on the market, right? Again, this card is already down about 500,000 coins from where he was. If you take a look at his graph from yesterday, he was about 3 mil. The leak happened. He went all the way down to 2-3. He's now back up 100K. Probably going to be panic sold even more today in the morning. Um, but he's not the only card that's being panic sold. And uh, re regardless, let me just say this for a second. Regardless of what the SPC is priced today, high rated fodder is cheap enough. Oh, wow. Hullet is 1.6 mil to complete now. His SPC price just continues to, to drop, actually, because it was absolutely 2 million coins. It looks like it's fluctuating around a bit. It was 2 million coins first day. It's definitely coming down now as the high tier fodder continues to get supplied so much. So hopefully a Ronaldinho SBC today is actually somewhere around like 1.3, 1.4 million coins. That would feel like an incredible, maybe even 1.5. That would feel like an incredible deal, an incredible price to go and craft a Dino moments, which is just such a big player in FIFA, even though he might be a little bit behind the power curve of somebody like a Vinny Jr., you can still see that a player like Ronaldinho has a weight in this game and people want to go and get that card because at the same time that, time that Ronaldinho was dropping yesterday, other Brazilian left wings were dropping as well. Vinny Jr. from 1.25 mil all the way down 200k to 1.05 million coins. Panic selling, especially on these two left wings, has happened a lot. Neymar was basically 1.8 mil yesterday. 1.85 and you can see this price drop off right he was all the way down at 1.58 he's back up slightly i think you'll see a little bit more panic selling on these guys today as it's a combination of them being in pack still and the market as a whole continuing to drop but also a moments ronaldinho that's just that's just a card that so many people want to have in their ultimate teams i would say even more so than hullet so that's why you've got those cards down other left wings on the market that i was trying to keep an eye on i was trying to keep an eye on like a betty pele and Franck Ribéry, and as far as I'm concerned, Abedi Pelé is down a little bit, but really, it's not much. You know, he was 1.27. He's he's down like I guess he is down about 100k now. His panic selling just took a little bit longer uh, to happen. He was not down at all yesterday when I was looking earlier. Franck Ribéry um, is still 4 million coins, so I think a combination of the Serie A links that are just hype right now. And, you know, let's be honest, this card compared to Moments Ronaldinho is just flat out better. Five star, five star, Dino is 5-4, more stats everywhere in this Ribery card. So, you know, that's probably why Ribery is not down that much. But definitely left wings in the game today will be very interesting to watch with a Ronaldinho SBC being released on the game. So hopefully it's around 1.5 million coins because I think if they do that, it would just be, it'd be such great value to go and craft. I would even think about trying and going and crafting to get... Ronaldinho in the club that'd just be a legendary card to have so that's a big part of content today because it's Ronaldinho right big name big icon moments player SBC now let's talk about other SBCs the gamble packs right the fun packs that's what we're all here for too right in footies at this time of the year well the 85 times 10 like we mentioned is expiring today this SBC literally goes away today but we pretty much expect it 100 percent to be re-released because two weeks ago this exact same thing happened or, or last week this happened they just re-released the SBC now could they make it like repeatable unlimited honestly i think it's still a bit too early for that and we were thinking about it in yesterday's live stream it would be a lot of fun to make this just you know unlimited repeatable but we still have two and a half weeks of footies left and we still have the whole month of august to go we still have the whole month of september to go before the new game comes out and ea is going to be pushing content in fifa 22 until the end like literally until fifa 23 comes out they're still going to be putting sbcs and content out so i think they want to give themselves more time before they actually do that what i could really see happening today is the 85 times 10 being re-released for a few days and the refresh timer updates every 24 hours like the 90 plus times 7. so imagine being able to log on to fifa every single day for this next week and do a 90 times 7 and an 85 times 10. and the best part about it is if you're like nate i'm these cards that are in packs i'm tired of them right batch two you know they're just dead you can save them if you really want to. You could save the 90 plus times 7 and the 85 times 10 for batch 3, which is going to come out this Friday. Now, in my opinion, I'm probably not going to save very many of these, if any at all. Maybe like one on Thursday or, or something. I'll save my ones on Wednesday and Thursday for Friday. But I'm still going to try to pack the big boy tots cards. 
Vinny, Benzema, Neymar, still have not packed them yet. I want to give myself a shot at doing that, and we have coins to do it. So I'm going to be doing all of them and opening, I would say, 90% of them um, this week. But that's just something to think about. If you have a lot of coins, but you're like, Nate, I'd rather wait a few days and pack Shapeshifter cards because we do imagine Shapeshifters will be back in packs uh, with Batch 3. That's something to kind of consider and talk about. Saving other packs, though, at this stage of the game, I would say I would not save a single one because think about how important SBC fodder is right now. Golds on the market are going crazy high in price. Premier League golds in, like, Liverpool golds as well um, because of the... Uh, token SBC that was released yesterday, Liverpool golds were selling for like 9,000 coins. Even some silvers were selling for stupid, crazy prices because of that SBC. It looks like they're down a little bit now, but all Liverpool golds were like three, 4,000 coins, I believe. 3K, 4,000 coins. It looks like they're right around three to 4K. So, you know, even for gold rares too, I bet that's even higher. Like that's kind of where we're at with this part of the market right now. And I, I just think that with all the prices that are inflated, all gold rares in themselves are like 1.2 to 1.3K. Um, I think that it's just, it's a great time to open packs. You can open 7.5K packs from the store and make your money back so many different times from opening those. And it's actually could be profitable if you hit a special card or two, just because of all the stuff that is, you know, high in value right now on the lower tier side of the market. Now, speaking of the market and speaking about fodder, just like we mentioned yesterday in the video, the fluctuations day in and day out with these fodder cards are unbeatable. This is so easy to make coins. I mean, I didn't really include talking about 85s that much yesterday, but after I saw how the 85s moved on the market yesterday, I literally watched this delict yesterday go from like 9K, yeah, 8.8K. He spiked, this says 11, he was actually 12K. I was on looking at his card when his price spiked. That's 4,000 coins per card in a rise in like an hour's time. It was crazy, right? We had all those spikes on fodder that we were talking about. Where was Acuna, right? Acuna, 5.8K, he's down really low. What did he go to yesterday? Oh yeah, 7.4K. Literally every single day, these cards make these moves. So here we are again, go through the fodder, club stock some of these cards, 84s and 85s, I think I like the best because people are going and doing the 90 times seven. If we get the 85 times 10 release today, re-release, which I think very possible that we will, I think that you would want to stock some of those cards in your club as well. And it's just Monday. People end the weekend by playing their weekend league, getting their rewards. They get a few coins. They go back into the game and either go and try out cards or they go and do SBCs. And I think just with all the SBCs that are out right now, people are going to be going and doing moments Ronaldinho. They're going to be going and doing all of the 86 plus player pick, right? All the gamble packs that are in here. Um, I haven't even really attempted doing the the Serie A tot slash shapeshifter. I haven't really attempted doing the foot hero shapeshifter and captain's player pick again. We could have any other sort of like, you know, player pick release today. Who, who even knows, right? It's just all of this insane SBC demand content. And it's crazy to see some of these cards just go this low again. Like last night, I think I bought a Cunha at 6.3K and I was happy at that price. And now tonight he's even, he's even lower. 5.8k like man that's pretty crazy 5.7 for acuna sign me up i'm gonna buy one put it in the club just go through 83s 84s 85s and do a quick club stock because those duplicates that i have i'm gonna turn in those duplicates and um a couple 84s 85s 86s and i'm gonna get myself done uh another one of those big boy sbcs like the 80 the 85 times 10 or the 90 times seven. I'm going to easily get that done. So again, the daily trading with fodder or just stocking your club to get SBCs done faster is 100% a play at this time as well. Also, what I want to talk about today is summer swaps tokens because we have gotten four of them so far. We had another one yesterday, as I mentioned, but what did we learn during Mondays of summer swaps number one? I know we're in summer swaps too, but what did we learn at number one? We learned that Mondays bring the big objectives the big block objectives, right? Summer swaps two, number one. Maybe they'll get their Roman numerals and, you know, confuse us again today like they did multiple times a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm expecting to see something like that released on the game today. Get your squad battles teams ready. Hopefully there's not many games of squad battles and get your friendly teams ready because there's going to be hopefully some tokens to grind for via objectives today. If you guys remember those clusters as well, it was like four different objectives you had to complete and then you got two tokens for each set and each, you know, games that you were playing, like it was four games, five games, whatever. Get ready to do some of that. I know squad battles is really dead. So hopefully EA just makes them all one league 
That would be golden goal mode. That would be perfect. If it's like four different leagues, we go through here, build a squad, or maybe even like silvers or, or bronzes. Make us play against each other um, with bronze players in a bronze mode or something. I don't know. Something like that. Um, that would be a little bit of pain, actually. But if it's golden goal, it can't be that terrible, right? Because we'd all get the games done fast. So EA just throwing out some ideas there. But the premise is, I would expect to see more Summer Swaps tokens dropped on the game today. Hopefully a nice chunk of eight of them. Because just like before, EA has to keep up with it, right? They released one per day. Yesterday, we had the Against the Tide SBC. We, uh, we need more. Come on, EA Sports. Give us that big chunk of eight tokens today. I would absolutely be watching out for that now also we talk about shapeshifters in yesterday's video we talk about some of the prices on the market and and things are continually dropping really um as i continue to look at you know other shapeshifters that are on the market and on the game again we're just going to put out another word of warning as we have great content every single day and as these cards get closer and closer to be re-released back in packs i really would take a look at any tradable ones that you maybe have in your club and say hey I think it might be time for me to get a couple of these out. I mean, I still see prices dropping even lower. Valverde is $595. That's the lowest I've seen him. Sane, under 200,000 coins. Now, some of these cards might be flippable, and you might be able to trade with them a little bit because Sane was still 230 yesterday. So, you know, this guy might bounce back up to like 220. You know, you might be able to flip it for some profit Profit if you're trying to trade. Junberg is 37K. Wow, that is low. Ginola is down. Ramos is 1.3. Elsha is one. 110k that's low Werner 575 that's low Marcelo 3.4 mil wow goodness me that's a bit of an undercut but I mean he was 3.6 yesterday so you know what I'm actually gonna go take a look at this if this is sitting on the market I would be I'd be a little bit tempted to buy it there's not a lot of profit in this though but that's a big undercut for a guy like Marcelo and I think it just goes to show that some people are saying hey I know these shapeshifters are coming back into pack soon it's still sitting there wow it is. All right, we're going to keep an eye on this guy tonight because if he would go to like 3-3, then 100% I'd be interested. There'd be some flip potential there back to maybe like 3-6 or something because he was selling them pretty consistently in the past couple of days. But just watch your shapeshifter cards because I think there's more room to go down than to go up for literally every single one of those cards. Um, and yeah, as I continue to click through even a few more prices, uh, like that Timo Werner one for me was a bit surprising. Under 600,000 coins. That's down a good bit for him. So just, again, be careful with the coins that you have. Be a good steward of your coins, if you will, just because it is the end game and, and coins count right now. Coins really, really count, and they're important when doing all these SPCs and when you need a lot of fodder and stuff like that. So keep an eye on those cards. I'm keeping an eye on Ronaldinho. Uh, evidently, he was 239 yesterday, 247. I watched one for 2.39. Vinny was down near a million coins. I could see Vinny Jr. going under a million coins today. Still in packs. If Ronaldinho, if Ronaldinho was like super expensive today and he's like an L, then you might see Vinny get panic sold and then bounce back later. But just the fact of Ronaldinho being craftable via an SBC will motivate a lot of people on FIFA this week to go and grind 75 times fives and 82 plus player picks to get this guy's SBC done. That's the amount of hype that Ronaldinho has. You guys know that. We all do. So that's why this moment's SBC hopefully coming today is a really, really big one. So hopefully it's that SBC today, 85 times 10, more of the fodder packs and more summer swaps. Summer swaps objectives in golden goal would be a nice objective to have because the Serie A footies cup a lot of people are getting it done because it's golden goal it doesn't take that long to do I think I have like three more wins or something and then I get it completely finished so especially during the week this week those objectives would be nice to grind as long as they're not like you know too much work right we, we wouldn't want too terrible much work to do during the week that's just us being a little bit lazy in august but if you did enjoy today's video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it should be a fun monday we'll be live streaming at twitch uh, link is down below in the description and checking out all the content building some player picks just having some fun on fifa in august if you again if you did enjoy the video do those things i just said before you know the drill this is a scuffed outro two nights in a row in pain it's august bro i guess that's why but it's been nathan for the count and i'll catch you guys later peace <laughs>